Hi, this is Destiny from Desfix and welcome back to another video in the e-commerce series using Django. In this one, we will get started working with others and also the other detail. That is what we'll be doing. Hopefully, you will enjoy the video and learn something new. So, let's get started. Begin by opening up your code editor and you want to get back to the user admin with the USPY. And just down here, I will create a new orders view. And this one should take in requests. And also, I need to say orders should be equal to, then I need to pass cat order dot objects dot all. That is to get all the orders, right? And then I need to create a context. You could probably watch take this if you don't, if you don't want to type all this out. And over here, we'll pass in orders and also orders. And also for the templates, it should be the same thing, orders HTML. That is done. Now let's create the next one, which will be order underscore detail. And this one should still take requests and also the ID. And now for this one, it should be order should be equal to cut order dot object dot get where ID is equal to ID. And let's also fetch all the other items related to that particular order. Cut order product. I think I need to import this. It's not yet imported. There you go. So I define the variable order items and set it to cut order products dot object dot filter by order should be equal to order. And after that, we still need to pass the same context. Okay. So do exactly the same thing down here. This should be this and this should be this. So after all that, I'll take the other detail and pretty much pass it down here. Now let's create the other HTML. So other HTML created, but it's empty. And let's also create the other detail HTML. So here, other detail HTML created. Now I want you to open up the dashboard front end template, grab orders, everything in orders, and put it in your own orders. Okay. And I also want you to grab other detail and put it in your own order detail, which is empty. All good. So now open up the user admin URLs py and let's register the URLs for this. So this one should be orders. There you go. And over here, orders and others. And for this one, it should be order underscore detail, which means over here now we need to pass order detail and ID needs to be over here. And also here, order detail. All good. So with all this now, you could take orders and pretty much put it in the base, in the base here, see here. So pass in a URL and say user admin orders. Okay, now let's try this out and see how it looks. So I'm refreshing this page now. And when I click on this, it should bring me to the other page. This is how it looks. Let's import some things at the top and also at the bottom. So I've, I copied that. Now I'll bring it into the others page. At the top and end block should be at the bottom. Looking good. Let's also fix the order detail. So scroll all the way to the top and import that also. I'm importing that here. Then I'll end block contents here. Okay, so for now we can't actually see anything for the order detail till we start looping through this and clicking on them, okay? So I want you to open up orders HTML and to actually loop through all this down here, just below this, I'll create a new for loop and say for O in orders and let's pretty much wrap this here. All right. And I'll re reload this. Can you see we have two orders? Let's change up the school. I think we already even have this in the dashboard, right? Open up the dashboard user admin. Remember where we did for L in latest orders. It's the same thing, exactly the same thing. 
just grab the whole table, this whole table, grab it and replace it with your own table here. So replace it with all the tables here. The only thing that you need to change is instead of latest orders, just say orders. Okay. And let's see. See, perfectly working as expected. And total seems to be sh sh showing an issue over there. Mm, okay. It should be L dot price. Okay. Let's see. See, that is working. Now for the view detail, let's look for the view details button, which is this one. Create a new URL. This one should go to user admin and user underscore. Oh, that should be order underscore detail. Then you want to say L dot ID. So when you get back here now and reload this page, see, you can now click on this and it opens an order for you. Really working perfectly well. Now let's start working with the other detail page and we should be done. So a couple of things that we need to change firstly is this date here. That should pretty much be order.date. And let's see. Are you sure we are passing in order? Let's hold on. Let me see. Okay, that is order.orderdate, not just dates like that. So you see that is working. And also for the order ID, it should be order.oid and I think that should be it. There you go. We'll work with the status later so that the vendor can change the status later. Now let's work with the customer. Customer name is order.foo underscore name. I will take this so I don't have to keep retyping. I'll do it for the email and also I'll do it for the phone. Okay. So this one is phone. This one is email. There you go. Walk in. Now let's change this. Shipped shipping method should be order dot shipping underscore method, which hasn't been added yet. Okay. See none. When we add a shipping method like UPS or any of those, you'll see it show up over there. Okay. So um, I believe that's it for now. The order ID should be order dot oid. The processing status should be um okay this is something that we will add based on the status that we will change over here okay for now just leave it the way it is or you know what we could even do for the processing this one over here just say order dot product i believe we have a field called product status right yeah we have a field called product status let's see what it says see processing that is working and also for paid what you simply want to say is you can write uh, an if statement here. You can say if order dot paid underscore status is equal to true. Then you could show paid down here. Else we show not paid. Fix the indentation and we should be done with that. All right, there you go. So it's working. Now for the delivery address, the address here will be order dot address. I will copy that out so I don't have to keep retyping all the time. So copy this city should be order dot city. And state should be order dot state. And also country should be order dot country. Okay. Here you go. All looking good. Now let's loop through the products here to show all the products that are related to this particular order. Just down here, I will say for O in order items. And we need to wrap it up just below. Wait, what's going on? Oh yeah, just wrap it below the first closing tag of the table row. And I, we have only one item there. So yeah, we should still see one item. For the image, that one you simply need to say O dot image. For the title, O dot title. For the price, O dot price. And 
for the quantity. Okay, I think we used O dot we used QTY. So that's what I'm thinking of. O dot QTY. Yep. And for the total, that should be O dot total. O dot total. All good. Looking great. So to change up all those ones, I'll change this to tax. And this one for now should be shipping. Like I said, sometime in the future, we'll work with the shipping and all that. And this one should be discounts. I will just duplicate another one and make it discount. So this should be discount and that one should be grand total. So discount should be order.saved. Shipping for now, let's say 0, 0.00. Tax, let's say 0, 0.00. And grand total should be order.price, which is the total price. All right. And also for the payments, let's do the same thing that we did here. The same thing here, I will take this, take this and we need to put it down here for the pay payments done. So instead of this, I pass in this. So now when you reload, okay, that is it. I believe that is everything that we have. Discounts, total, delivering to other information, customer, date, and pretty much all those cool things. That is it. The order and the order of detail is they are now working as expected. In the next one, we'll start working with changing of order status. And after that, I believe we should be done. That is pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and learn something new. So if you're looking to set up your real, real e-commerce store, send a message to desfix at gmail.com to get your demos and see how the e-commerce looks for a real business. That is pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and learned something new. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, mad love. Peace out.